that massive Patanjali store behind me. That's where we are going to be going in this video. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I saw the Patanjali Superstore and I was like, I need to check this place out. Good thing is they also have a cafeteria inside where I'm going to grab a bite first and then give you a tour of the store. So come on, let's go. It's called Patanjali Paridhan and it is like quite a big store in this campus. First things first, bags are not allowed here. So you'll have to leave them outside. No shopping bags even. Inside the cafeteria, inside the Patanjali store. The interesting thing is that you can try out a lot of the stuff that they are selling here. This is the menu. You can try out any flavor of their noodles here. They also have a little bit of uh, fresh stuff. So things like sandwiches, bread pakoras, patties. Here is what I've ordered right now. The first thing is a sweet lassi and it comes in a cooler. For some reason, it's pink color and it does have a slight rose flavor. And then I have this mighty green khas sharbat. Khas sharbat is so beautifully cooling. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like this needs a little bit more khas syrup itself. So I ordered the Manjurian noodles. They actually make it with a little bit of veggies here. They kept the noodles on the runny side and I think I like my noodles a little bit dry. Wow, these are nice. The Manjurian flavor is kind of subtle or maybe it's feeling more subtle because of all the veggies added. But I like this experience. Try before you buy. The other thing that I'm trying here is from their fresh hot stuff. So this is a bread pakoda. It's a very different looking bread pakoda. It's literally like a stuffing inside of potato. There's a little bit of paneer, some tomato and capsicum. And I'm assuming this is Patanjali ketchup. I actually didn't realize how hungry I was until I started eating. This bread pakoda is feeling nice and fresh and they are actually assembling it right there and frying it in front of you. The flavors are quite subtle. It's not overly spicy, making it okay to be eaten and enjoyed by anybody. They also have ice creams, but these are not Patanjali. Vadi Ral. I actually thought they were, which is why I was super excited to try them. I'm going to finish eating this and then we're going to go check out the store. Right now, this amount of variety I can see in just like the food items is so much. Here there is like all rice and pulses and lentils and stuff. And here we have all of the flour, sugar and here we have all the masalas. I think there's a lot of things that I have not seen in the local Patanjali store that I visit in Mumbai but I can find all of that here. Nicely packaged and stuff as well. Just in this entire rack I found at least three to four different varieties of atta, flour that we can use for making rotis, parathas, Indian bread and here I found methi atta. So this is multigrain atta with methi seeds. This is diabetic care atta. It's multigrain flour and it's got everything ranging from green gram, barley, gram, moth bean, pea flour, kidney bean, joar, so many more ingredients. Then we have this ready missi atta. So perfect for making missi rotis instantly. This contains whole wheat, barley and gram. I think all you need to add is a little bit of spices and some yummy missi roti type of fulkas or parathas can be ready. Gluten free atta here and like massive pack of whole wheat flour and here we have makke ka atta i'm really excited to see this i really need to find a good patanjali store in mumbai because i am fascinated with all of this this is the entire section with oils and the first thing that i see here is virgin coconut oil perfect for hair skin and even cooking and these are the other soybean and rice bran and mustard oil now patanjali cow ghee is something that i've tried and i do really like the quality of this but what i'm fascinated with here is the amount of pickles and paste that I can see. So there is a massive jar of garlic pickle and this is something that I've not really seen before. Khatta Meetha Neembu Chutney. If I had the luxury of luggage right now, this would have been in my cart. Then we have lemon pickle, amla pickle. Amla pickle is really interesting. Another thing that I would really want to try. Now here we have a variety of biscuits and first things first, I love the size of the pack. So many different flavors. This is elaichi cream. This I'm buying even though I don't have the luxury of luggage. And then there's chocolate. There are cashew cookies. So many different ones. Elaichi cream is coming with me because this is one of my favorite cream biscuit flavors. Here I saw a pack of coconut cookies. These are I think those uh, 
fancy bakery style cookies and I really like coconut flavor in cookies and biscuits. So this is also something that I want to try. And here we have more digestive and multigrain biscuits. Here we have a variety of mixed fruit jams and some very interesting flavors. So this is aloe vera of mixed fruit jam, then there's guava jam. Pineapple jam, very very different flavors. Jams, ketchup, and here we have really fancy packs of dry fruits. I saw cashew, pista, anjeer, raisins. This section here is the frozen stuff. There's sweet corn, there's peas, and here we have chas and milk and even butter. Now this is a section where I can find ready to eat kind of stuff. So this is oats dalia, and this is masala oats, and here we have cereal. So I never knew that they have muesli, chocos, cornflakes even. And this is an instant pack of wheat dalia. And these are tinier packs of like snacky stuff but on the healthier side. So these are roasted flax seeds with black salt. This is not so healthy, this is aloo bujia. They have roasted rice krispies as well. This is a wasabi flavoured oats mix. Who would have thought Patanjali will have wasabi flavoured something. Then we have namkeens. Navratan mix, spiced peanuts and nice cute small size packs of each of these. Now as we are passing the aisles, stuff is getting more interesting. I just saw Manchurian flavoured noodles. They see masala flavoured noodles. This packet is reminding me of magic masala and I think the noodles might be of that flavour which will be so good. These are the other classic noodles and they actually also have cup noodles. I wish they start giving these in flights. They also have rice idli mix. This is a dosa mix. Then they have creamers, whiteners, soya puffs, similar to that, they call it soya katori. Now here we've reached the section for digestives and churans and all of the tasty golis. Right from isab gol to like these, uh, I don't know what are they called, little little mixes. So this is ajwain and aloe vera. And then we have my favourite, anardana pachak goli. Gulkan mix, jaljeera mix, amla murabba, harad murabba. I don't know what this is, this is something pretty unique. This is bel murabba. Wow. Chatpata Amla candy, this is also coming with me. Here we have ready gulab jamun mixes and there's also some mithai son papri. Are you a son papri lover? Not me. Oh my god, I actually saw thandai powder. This reminds me of my time in Nagwara and if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box where he's actually kutoing the thandai masala. And this is poshtik laddu, sweetened atta balls with almonds and herbs, whole wheat ke laddu. So they have gulab jamun mixes and they also have ready-made mithai. We saw son papri and here is gulab jamun and rasgulla. Now I'm out of the food section and into my other favourite personal care section. The first thing that caught my eye was all of these Kesar Chandanwala aloe gels. I like the size, it's a very good size for trying. Here we have a range of oils suitable for hair and beauty and there are so many different ones. So there is a Sarso Avla mixture, there's of course Nariyal Tail. Then we have something known as Sheetal Tail and this is Pure Amla. Something like this which is called Tejas Thailam. Probably seems to be a little bit more potent mixture. I'm not getting into the ingredients right now. This is a section where you have Mehendi, herbal Mehendi for hair and you have Mehendi that gives you colour. So this is Burgundy, Dark Brown, Natural Brown and then we have Natural Black. And this is the hair colour pack. There's brown and black in this. I knew in Mehendi you can add things like indigo and you know enhance the colour a bit. These are still natural derivatives but to be able to see them in a pack like this, pretty good stuff. And welcome to the Dant Kanti counter. I swear by this toothpaste. I'm telling you guys, try it if you haven't already. Here they have all kinds of packs and sizes of Dant Kanti that you can imagine. Big, small, travel, like everything and they also have variants. So this is Dant Kanti for sensitive teeth. There's also a Dant Kanti gel. Then there's a Dant Kanti aloe vera. I think this is the first First time I'm seeing an aloe vera teeth product. And here we have toothbrushes and stuff. Now this is the section with the soaps and just the aroma is so inviting. They have like their simpler packs and these are the slightly fancy Mysore sandal soap and handmade soap variety. They have them in sandalwood, in mogra, in neem. This lemon one smells so fresh. 
and there's a variety of balms, lips, and this is all of the shampoos, conditioners. Just look at the variants. Just look at the variety. Here we have face wash, face scrubs, even face washes which are for men. And here we have like refill packs of body optans. So if you want to do like an at-home full body spa, then this is what you need. Now that there is the Ayurveda pharmacy, so you can go in, get stuff as per your prescription or as per your need. And here they also have a books counter. Now I'm at the section where they have herbal household cleaners. So stuff like detergents, machine detergents, regular detergents, glass cleaners, utensil cleaners, scrubbers, you name it, it's all here. And this is like the section for puja ka saman. So you'll find camphor and so many different variants of incense sticks, agarbatti. I think this entire section is like more pick up and go kind of things, things you can eat and try on the way. This is a mango juice. Here we have a guava flavored juice. And here we have like sharbat bottles. It's a plastic bottle, it's a rose sharbat. And here we have am panna, mango panna. Now this is the more refreshing stuff. This is khas sharbat and I really enjoy khas sharbat and this is bale sharbat. Both of them are perfect for hot days, humid days. These are bigger packs so I don't think I can buy them. And here we have brown Ammi Sharbat, which is apparently useful in mental stress, fatigue, insomnia, improves memory and immunity. After all of this, we've reached the section where they actually have clothes. I am supremely excited right now. So here they have shirts, t-shirts and men's wear. And this is stuff for home. So there's towels, there's bed linen, like comforters and stuff as well. Here they have varieties of kurtas. There are also offers going on like flat 50, buy one get one. I like that there's quite a bit of cotton stuff here. Simple Indian wear, stuff that you can wear in hot weather and also stuff that's a little bit, you know, party wear, occasion wear. And here they have these 90s which we all wear, we all have at home and this is like my staple house outfit. Let me know in the comments if it's yours as well. They also have jewellery and these are the infamous Patanjali jeans. I remember when they launched, there was like such a hue and cry but this is the first time I'm seeing them in person. They also have shoes and pretty decent quality guys. <music> Once you're done shopping, this is where you bill and I think they give you cloth bags to take your stuff back home in. I think for me, this entire store experience has been pretty unique. Firstly, I have never seen a Patanjali store this big in Mumbai. Maybe I have missed it. In case you guys know of a big Patanjali store in Mumbai, then make sure you leave the address and stuff in the comments below. I'm extremely impressed with the range of products they have. So who would have thought a Patanjali shaving cream, a pack of noodles, even like those smaller roasted snacks and stuff. Pretty good stuff. Another thing which I really, really appreciate is that they have smaller packs. They have trial size packs so people can try out their stuff before actually committing to a bigger bottle or a bigger jar or something which in my opinion is the best way to get people hooked onto your product so they got that in their marketing right. I think this entire store experience has been pretty interesting for me. It's one of the good things to do near Roorkee when you're heading from Haridwar or Rishikesh towards Delhi. They actually have a sprawling campus here. There's an Ayurveda hospital and there are also other lodging and boarding facilities as well. I'm going to leave the location details and stuff in the description box below. Make sure you check that if you are wanting to head here. Share this video with all of your friends and family who are obsessed with the brand Patanjali. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!